Hello, everybody. Hello from Bryson City. Um, here on Friday, uh, it's kind of a, looks like it's trying to start raining or something. It's kind of misty, dreary morning, um, which is a great time to be inside and draw. So um, today we're going to work on some people. Um, I have a couple friends here with me. Uh, one of them's made of plastic, so you'll have to see who here in a little bit. But um, um, we're going to do a couple couple quick sketches of people. I'm going to show you guys some fun ways to uh, practice while while you're at home with your families. You can use each other as as models. So I'm going to show you some uh, some different um, techniques just to uh, basically get the form and shape of a person on the paper it's a great way to practice and then uh next week like i said we're going to do a little painting uh, might even do a little drawing might do some character drawing um any suggestions you all have for that just put them in the comments below um but otherwise so people let's get started on people let me uh move my camera around here all right look i have a person right here if you know who he is, you can. Uh, we'll do a little. We'll do a little copyright infringement today. That's okay. George Lucas won't mind, I don't think. So, and then I also have this guy. This is pretty useful and helpful. This is just a mannequin. You can get these um, online. You can get them at most big box retail stores. Um, I don't know. Sometimes um, the only problem I have with these is the joints. Um, you know, you got to be careful that you don't pop one of these joints out. But otherwise, they're, they're pretty handy because you can get a pretty natural pose. Um, they have these little pedestals that they sit on. So, so when you set it up, uh, let's say you want to say hello to everybody. There we go. That doesn't look very natural. <laughs> That's better. That was looking more like stop. But so anyway, um, these are pretty good to have to uh, to draw. Um, if you don't have folks around, if you have people sitting around, that's good to draw too. Um, if you have action figures, lots of action figures. I'm sure some of you might have more action figures than you know what to do with. Um, you can set up your action figures. This is my action figure, by the way. Yes, I'm a grown man and I have action figures. It's okay. Um, but you can set up your action figures and guess what? It's a person you can draw. Um, you can also use photographs. However, I would recommend um, not using a photograph if you want to draw like a really nice picture portrait of someone. Um, because typically what we tend to do from photographs, you're drawing from a 2D surface onto a 2D surface, so you tend to flatten them out. And when you look at it, it's like, wow, their face doesn't they don't look that wide, or the spacing of the eyes doesn't look right, or the ears or whatever. And um, so photographs, while they're good as a reference, I wouldn't use them solely as my only uh, place to get a person. <laughs> this my mannequin does not want to stay on his stick there's probably a reason for that that's another video I think so okay let me do some posing here some adjusting we'll just do a nice standing pose one arm up all right, so grab a pencil. So what I'm going to do, um, a great way to warm up when you draw and when you draw people is to do what we call a gesture drawing. So again, look at the your model. Let me see if I can go up just a little bit so you can see. There you go. So you can see our model. So a quick way to do that is a gesture drawing. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look, 
and I'm just going to sketch. I'm going to kind of sketch in the shape of that person using bubbles and circles. So you can see it's just really quick. Kind of help you get the form. And the, the way that this is separated out is great too. It, it, it kind of shows you how to draw some larger shapes. And there you go. Pretty quick and easy. We'll go that way. Now he's waving at everybody. Again, another quick drawing using our mannequin. Let's try something a little bit more exciting. He's like, I don't want to bend that way. There we go. On the run. So there you go, running, waving, and then just standing. All really quick, great ways to get the form of this down. Again, going back to uh, training your brain to tell your hand to report what you see. Something else that you can do when drawing a person, you can also, using our model here, I've turned him a little bit, you can also just create a wire frame. This is a little bit more difficult, but it would be pretty cool. You could try it. So here I've got shoulders. I started with the shoulders. I'd like to start there. Arm, hand, next arm, hand. And then this is going to be for the head, chest, pelvis, thigh, calf, foot, thigh, calf, foot. So yesterday I was talking about artists and math. Did you know that some of the first um, people to really do forensic exploration of the body were artists? So some of the first people to use cadavers. So how do you think Grey's Anatomy was drawn? By an artist. So, not the TV show. Moms and, and ladies out there, don't get worked up. I wasn't talking about Grey's Anatomy. I don't know anything about um, any of that. Um, or who owns Grey Sloan or um, any of that stuff. So. so, anyway, wire person. Let's do uh, another quick pose. And this time as a wire person, let's do... jumping, maybe dunking a basketball or something like that, and or jumping up to grab something. All right, so another quick wire drawing here. 
So arm, 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 shoulder, head, chest, pelvis, thigh, thigh, calf, calf, foot, foot, and hand. Just like that. To kind of help, you know, this is another exercise to help you get the proportion and shape of the body down. Um, that, and you can do lots of these little cryptic stick figures and tell people they're hieroglyphics. So. <laughs> Moving right along, so back to this guy. We're going to draw, and I'm going to show you some stuff with the face here. He's wearing a mask, so his face isn't exactly, you know, um, a person's face, but I can show you a couple things. So when you look at a face, the face is strong with this one. So um, I'm going to draw this to show you real quick as an example. I always start off with an almond of an almond shape you know it doesn't have to be perfect you can erase a little bit um, line down the center after you get your line down the center then what you want to do is is more or less um, kind of middle two-thirds this is going to be our eyes and then from your eyes um, I arbitrarily, it's like nose somewhere in here. I just pick a spot as your nose. Another spot down here is going to be your mouth, just like that. Um, one of the things with geometry, though, with of the face, is the ends of the mouth line up with the centers of the eyes, just like that. So you have mouth, nose, eyes. Your ears would also be out here at this point, like that. And a, just a general rule is this width here should equal this. From the mouth, nose, should equal to the top of the head. You have your chin in here too. Now, if you look at what I've already got drawn here, let's see. You ready? Circles. A little bit of a triangle and a really long rectangle. Doesn't really have ears, does he? No. He has a little thing at the top, too. Take the rest of it in. You make your own C-3PO. Made by Darth Vader. <laughs> but basic form of the face, so looking at this guy so again the thing that's going on that's different though is now he's got a helmet on so eyes are going to be here there's going to be the nose this is going to be the bottom the bottom of his uh, mouthpiece there so and we know the nose goes into that So there's the eyes. All right. So for this helmet, it's going to come out like this. The helmet mimics the eyes. And don't forget, he's got those edges right here for his cheeks. So those go in here, too. Now, Darth Vader's helmet is reflective. So yesterday, or the day before, we talked a little bit about shadow. So a reflection is a little bit of a mixture of some shadow and leaving the white of the paper to come through. So, you can fill it in and then leave part of that to show up. Just like 
reflection right there. There we go. Got those <clears throat> colored pencils or some crayons. Feel free to add a little color. And one of the tricks I'll do, I'll tell you guys, one of the tricks that you can use to make the black appear darker is use blue and brown. A little bit of blue, a little bit of brown, and it'll actually, because shadows, we like to think of shadows in our mind as being black, but they're actually um, cool. Shadows are cool. Cat shadows are made up of, so I'm using a, uh, a navy here to kind of fill in some of these shadows. And when I come back in with the darker color, here's a little bit of brown as well. So when I come back in with some black over this brown, it'll, it'll really stand out. And mixing some of the black and brown here together, as you can see it really give some depth to that shadow and a little bit of green why not if you've ever seen any of the original artwork for Star Wars Darth Vader was actually supposed to be um, dark blue and green different shades um, to make him look a little bit more menacing if that's possible <laughs> a little bit of color all right there we go So you guys can work on that. And fill, fill in and create. So like I said, if you have action figures laying around, sitting around your house, action figures that need to be put up before you put them up, draw a picture of them. That would be cool. Um, also remember when you draw a face, start. And we can do practice. You can do lots of practices like this. Divide it up. They don't have to be. Um, they don't have to be um, make believe faces. They can. You can have the people that are sitting around you uh, model for you, so you can get a face that way too. So, um, again, make sure you look around your environment, see what you have on hand. <clears throat> Keep drawing and uh, feel free to post your, <laughs> I have a, the mannequin is moving, look out, y'all. Uh, feel free to post your pictures uh, in the comments. Um, also, feel free to uh, make any suggestions for classes for next week in the comments. And we'll see you again on Monday. Have a great weekend. Everybody stay safe out there. Bye.